In this demo, we'll look at vFabric Hyperic and how it can help you as a VI admin to better manage and monitor the virtual machines in your environment. Hyperic can help you get a sense of what's going on with all of your virtual machines thanks to its ability to monitor a wide range of technologies. Out of the box, Hyperic can monitor seven different operating systems running on six different CPU architectures on both virtual and physical infrastructure. On top of that, Hyperic has 85 different plugins to monitor different app technologies that you might be running in that environment. Things like Oracle, MySQL, WebSphere, WebLogic, Tomcat, Apache, and IIS. Most production apps are covered in these 85 plugins. Typically, we'll get multiple versions in each technology range, breaking down into services and components and multiple metrics for each one of these things to monitor and get you additional visibility. What we're going to look at now is one of the ways that Hyperic represents virtual infrastructures and applications running on top of those. To start with, we're going to show you how we typically see things today in the vSphere client. Here we have an environment of a vCenter server and four ESX hosts. We can see that there's memory pressure on ESX 3 and 4. If we look at the virtual machines, we can see that all of them have about half a gig of memory. One of the reasons why there might be some pressure on those two ESX hosts is that all of the VMs are running on those two hosts. Here you have a view that lets you know that there's an issue of some kind, but not why that issue exists. With the Hyperic way of viewing the infrastructure, what you can do is get a similar view to what you see in the vSphere client. You can drill down into the ESX host and get a similar view of all the same performance metrics that are being collected by vSphere. You can also drill into the VM and get that same view. One additional thing that we get from here is that since we've got a Hyperic agent running on this machine, Web33, we've got visibility into the applications that are running on top of that. In this case, we're running an application called TC Runtime, which is similar to the Tomcat web server. It's a Java application, which is something that you have to be careful with in terms of overcommitting memory when you're virtualizing. We can see here at 8.48 a.m., one of the application developers has resized the amount of memory that this application is allowed to use. From here, we can troubleshoot it by comparing some of the metrics that are coming from either the VM or the ESX host to see exactly how that change might have impacted the infrastructure. In this case, we can see a pretty strong correlation that the application owner and his change might have caused that giant spike in memory pressure on the ESX host itself. We can go down this page and get a look at other metrics, other key performance indicators for any of the applications or any of the operating system metrics to get a deeper dive view into what's happening on top of those guest operating systems. If we go back to the dashboard, we can start drilling into a few other things. First, we're going to look at the ESX host. We can see that in aggregate, the hosts are running at about 84% memory utilization. Drilling in deeper, we see at around 8.40 a.m., since each host is color-coded, we can see ESX 3 and 4 spiking in terms of the consumption and ESX 1 and 2 essentially doing nothing. Going back and looking at the application server that's configured, what we see from here again is that spike in memory allocation, and if we drill into it, we can see that the application was configured across every single instance. To alleviate some of this pressure, we'll go back into the vSphere client, power down a few of these VMs so that we can do both a storage and a normal vMotion to redistribute the load for this configuration. Now, let's start the vMotion. We've sped this up to save time. Now, we're going to power all of these VMs after they've been vMotioned. Again, this has been edited for time. Going back to HQ, let's take a look at what happens after we've done this reconfiguration. When we drill back into the ESX host, we see that the memory allocation looks much, much better. Now we've got around 50% memory usage on both ESX 3 and 4, and we can see ESX 1 and 2 coming back up to pick up the load. Thanks for watching this demo of how vFabric Hyperic can help you better manage your virtualized application infrastructure.